Tom Hauser here with another midweek blessing. Hey, this week's GP reads is to pray for God to deepen the congregation's relationships with each other, to center on encouragement, confession, and gospel ministry, uh, to pray that the congregation's relationships with each other would be deeper and stronger, but not just in any old way, in a very specific way, uh, deeper and stronger and centered on these three things, encouragement, confession, and gospel ministry. Encouragement, confession, and gospel ministry. Why these three things? Well, uh, these three things are vital to not only individual Christians' health, but the health of the church body and therefore the health of its witness uh, in the world. So to encourage one another towards godliness, to encourage one another when you're discouraged, to encourage one another to leave behind the old and to grab hold of the new, to encourage one another to put off uh, the way that you used to think, the way that you used to react and the way you used to interact with the world, and to put on a new way of being, to encourage one another in that, because it's hard uh, to confess uh, to one another um, when we fall short of those things, to confess to one another when we sin, and to ask for people's prayers, to ask for people's encouragement for us, uh, because again, it's challenging. The Christian life is a challenging life and we fall just as often as everyone else. And we, when we do, and when we confess those sins to one another, uh, we are able to have our brothers and sisters help us, uh, encourage us. And then the gospel ministry, because that is what our faith is all about. It's about the gospel of Christ. It's about the good news that Jesus came and lived and died and rose again so that we could have a new life with God. Uh, let me give you a passage that just reflects a lot of these things. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty familiar passage to many. It's Hebrews chapter 10. Uh, I'm going to start in verse 19. It says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the fresh and living way that he inaugurated for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and the assurance that faith brings, because we have had our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. And let us hold unwaveringly to the hope that we confess, for the one who made the promise is trustworthy. And let us take thought of how to spur one another on to love and good works, not abandoning our own meetings as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other, and even more so because you see the day drawing near. This is a famous passage that just encourage, is the, the, encourages uh, the followers of Jesus to remember their faith, to lean into their faith, and to lean into each other to pursue that faith together. Uh, there's, no, uh, there's no time in the life of a Christian when community um, is unimportant. And so if you struggle to find it, I would encourage you to do everything you can to find it. Uh, when you struggle with sin, I would encourage you to lean into that community and confess that sin to them so that they can pray for you and encourage you. And if you struggle to lean into the gospel, the good news of Christ, or to share that good news with a watching, wondering world, I encourage you to lean into that community to help you do that. Till next time, peace friends.